Welcome back. It's a little darker than when I left. Oh, and it's snowing. Really random weather. What time of year is it anyway since it took time to get to Utah? We're getting close to Thanksgiving in 2281. Okay, and it's about 9 o'clock at night. I'm thinking about going into that cave, but... I'm going to go ahead and talk to the people here because uh, they should still be up at 9 o'clock at night. And uh, maybe I can find somebody to sell some stuff so I don't have to worry about burdening down my, uh, my new friend with all the goodies. Okay, so I can take the bottles, but I uh, shouldn't steal their meats and such. Oh, and this campfire is burning. Good. Okay, so they don't speak English. Good. I guess they're saying good. Good. Okay. Need to make here. Ooh, I can make my own homebrewed soda. Ah, nope. Nothing new since the last time. Just had to check. You know. Because I'm silly that way. Okay, and I don't want to steal from honest, uh guys here. Just checking out the situation though. Here's another roast pig or something. I can't use that car. Alright. Let's check out where is Mr. Birdman. Two bears high-fiving. Okay. That's a joke because <laughs> I guess the, the this downloadable content came out after the original game was created, and people always joke about that uh, last war shot test when you create the character looking like two, two bears high fiving. So let's see if we can find him in here and say something to him. There's Chalk. Hoi! Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham? Yeah, that's Zuka for him. Uh, okay. You know our tongue. Smart. Auslander. Joshua in high place of cave. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. Yeah, I think I could show him some world of pain. Uh, but I don't want to do that necessarily. He may have left Caesar behind. Let's see, uh... You wise for Auslander. Okay, so she doesn't say anything else. Let me see. Let's see if I can pick this cave up. Yes. Yeah, I hear some up. odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? There are death claws. I'm glad you speak better than these people. It would get on my nerves if you were talking like them all the time. Okay, so two bears high five and must have taken off deeper into the cave. Head up in there and see, uh, I'm gonna pick all this cave fungus, because I saw a couple of recipes where it did good stuff, and I can take it to reduce my radiation. Just raw. Uh, it looks like a plant I should pick. Oh, firebomb, okay. I it would be stealing, but I wonder if I walked up too close if that would have been like a mine. Wasn't a deactivate. So, okay, there's your old mummified Burning Man up there. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion, but from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White yeah. Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days, and I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. You carry around more guns than I do, dude. Well, I do have a locker full at home that may I'll do that. Uh, and the mod I added, it is good that his face actually does look like his fingers look like he was burned. Nice. Uh, well, more realistic. 
Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go here. The dead horses are capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. Happy trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the New Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other New Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now. Not with everything that's going on. Okay. So he says Caesar. Keep going back and forth on what they're calling him, so... Yeah, I'll call him Caesar. He was his right-hand man, so I guess until I actually meet the guy. Uh... You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. So the ones that that are that were more difficult speaking, those disciples, must be the uh, sorrows instead of the uh, dead horse like uh, Paulus John. The sorrows believe in a spirit that lives in the caves. Say the spirit punished them once for trespassing. They put special marks around the cave entrances to keep people out. It doesn't work on the white legs, of course, but the dead horses are spooked. Thank you. Follows Chalk can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Yeah, I already knew that about him. Um, okay, so that finished off a quest. Let's see if we pick that before we get jerked into the conversation. Okay, so all of this stuff is... Um, Presumably by him. Uh, I'll have a workbench. He doesn't trade. Uh, some wonder glue that I could take. Uh, is there anything at the reloading? No, I don't want to break anything down. Uh, I'll get some of my microfusion cells back. Ventura hide. Huh. I don't know what that's used for, but maybe I'll make one. Let me make anything else. Um, no. Okay. Sounds good. Alright. I doubt there's any new conversation with him, but let's see. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Didn't go anywhere, guy. Alright. Good. So there is a lot more to learn. Um, Maybe I should step around to the front. Though. God be with you. I'd rather not look at the back of his head. I don't like being down low like I was. Welcome before. back. What can I do for you? Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. Okay. A great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're New Canaanites. Okay, so the uh, Sorrows must be somewhere else. The others are just members of the dead horse that don't speak the same. Uh, let's see. We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe. A linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. 
New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down, when you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. Okay. The Saros have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaowai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez, and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. So maybe it was German, because that Auslander sounds like, uh, German for foreigner. The valley belongs to God, but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I returned to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. Salt Lake City PD, I guess, is this jacket. I was just noticing that. They attack everyone who isn't a white leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's Legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Of course. I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is the spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. Oh, so it's automatic. I wouldn't mind having an automatic pistol. Hmm. I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws, and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Yeah, I think he fell before. I didn't want to antagonize him before. I don't think this will antagonize him, though. Every day. Some days are harder than others. 
Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentarii and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory, but maybe this one survived. And that's going to be another one of the DLCs later. I think that's in Lonesome Road. All right, let's see if he has it. We do. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. I've been selling my NCR dollars and Caesar stuff. I didn't realize I could spend them later. I guess I'll convert my caps back out. He's got a lot of 45 rounds. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it'll be a while before I need to repair that laser. God be with you. I need to put on my uh, trading gear, and I need to get stuff from my buddy. Well then, let's get to trading. Yeah, I think the 45 ammo was his, and I think so was the food. him with the water. Welcome back. What? Yeah. Alright, so let's do this again. Yeah, sells for quite a bit more. And I uh wear the right stuff. I think. says A1. I'm wondering if this is the automatic one. Maybe I hadn't been paying attention. I didn't realize that was an auto fire. I wish it would say something. Maybe that's why the damage is higher. But I'm sure I'll get one from killing somebody, but so I could, with that Tommy gun, do stuff to make it easier to aim and put sights on it. something from it. Firebomb. Uh, how about ammunition? I guess I could buy all of his 45 rounds. Not be over pressure. Uh, hmm. Oh, this primer is good. I can make that to make other ammo. I thought the only way I got that was breaking down. I hadn't been paying attention. Oh, 
hopefully those don't weigh that much, I don't think. No, they do. Ugh. So let's see, I think still need to buy something expensive from him. Oh, incendiary grenades. This might not be bad to have, set people on fire. Just thinking I gotta trade because. So there's like 40. And do I have anything worth close to 40? I'm just scrolling and seeing that before I even decide if I want to actually sell it. Yeah, see those Kims I was selling that guy for 80. Well, I can only sell for 11 when I don't need a magazine. Yeah, I use a magazine. Read a magazine. Okay, I think that's good enough. Alright. God be with you. back be stealing but I don't know if that A1 I don't know if the ones that I saw before had A on them so they may not have been automatic oh so this is a different way out might as well see what goes what this does out here oh there's a glowing cave fungus where are we on the map adding all my items from the trade. Uh, oh, we're out almost back by... Oh, you know what? When I thought about dropping down to that bus, and I, and I did that and then couldn't find a way back up, there was a cave entrance here. Oh, is this... Let me turn Why do you on. carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. Is this up above something, or let's see? There's a bed around here. I don't know how sleepy I am yet, but I'm gonna need to sleep. Uh, lots of plants here. Okay, and a little night vision. So I can't tell, are we up above? 
above where that bus was. And Dead Horse Warrior sleeping in a bed. Kick a native out of their own bed. Okay, so we are up higher. We're up above. Oh, okay, no, Virgin, we're, we're up above those boats where I first came down. And I'm not sure if I can jump down into. Survival cache. Wow, lots of nifty things. Um, it's back into the cave. Yeah, see, I think that kind of drop would kill me. I don't know if you could do a glitch casting in the Sundance Kid back into the water. But let me go back in here and see if there was anywhere earlier in the cave that they let me sleep or, or what, because it's 11 o'clock at night. It sure would be a good idea to sleep somewhere. I wish there was an easy, let's see if I can ask him anything now. Let's talk. What can I tell you? Yeah. Best place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there. And even white legs don't like them much. Okay. Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? Yep, you're right. Um, lots of back when places to choose from, but for the things we need, best to start with the really closed up places. Three I know of. A building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest, and the general store right by it. Closer to home might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell, just west of the eastern virgin. In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass, all full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small to me. Lots of that old stuff, uh, how do you say it, uh, electronics. Maybe you could use some of it. Yeah, so that was the bus that I jumped down to, so the skeleton is supposed to be a little school bus with all the, the uh, lunch boxes and everything. Grizzly. I don't know why with all the lunch boxes and toy cars I didn't put two and two together and think it was a bus full of kids. Ask away. Uh mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. My guess is one yeah, if I that calf doesn't turn up, you might Yeah, the banana yucca. Okay. Go with fortune, friend. I may want to do that. That seemed like that quest was close to here, too. Let's see. Item. Oh, wait. Data. It's not the right one. Data. Okay, so this is the one where we have to... Oh, the compass. That's the one. Okay, I went down there and there was a compass that I couldn't pick up and it said it was broken. So maybe I pick it up when I'm on this quest and do that. Okay, walkie-talkies. Uh, little scout lunch boxes. I guess those will be different than the regular lunch boxes that I can get find a way up the cliffs, and then the other stuff is back in Mojave. What's this? Peach Jack, new cam recipes, okay. Um, okay, whoops, my night vision is on and I don't need it on. Alright, I'm gonna look around here and see if there's any bed not marked as owned, or if there's a door that I missed, okay. Stealing. No, that's just shelves. That's where we just came out of. Or wait, no, this is where we came out of, right? I don't know, that's where, yeah, that's... So this goes outside. And then past him. Okay, grave on the ground. Okay. Whoa. Bet they Water don't have anything sounds. as nasty as Yao Guai, though, where you come from. No, we got plenty of nasty stuff, buddy. Okay, where's the bed? Okay, they're all got tribal guys sleeping in them. 
to make a guy stand up by talking to him and then lay in his bed. That just feels wrong, but I do want to sleep somewhere. We're heading out. Um, let's see if their bed's outside. Yeah. 